And big news coming down from Sacramento State. Plans are underway to bring a new football stadium to campus. The announcement came down earlier today and already people are really excited about this new addition. Fox 40's Claudette Stefanian reports from Sac State with what we know. This is the football stadium you're used to seeing, but by the end of the season, all of this is going to be cleared out to make way for a brand new stadium. Now we did press school officials asking them how much is this going to cost? And first and foremost, we want to go ahead and take you out to some video to give you some perspective on what the stadium looks like. Right now you're taking a look at Hornet Stadium from above. School officials tell us the new stadium will boast 25,000 seats and an architecture firm known for designing famous stadiums like Yankee Stadium and the upcoming Buffalo Bill Stadium would be spearheading the design. One of the big questions getting asked today, how much is all of this ultimately going to cost? School officials told us they could not reveal or give us a ballpark just yet, but said it would not cut into the general fund. They also told us several sources, including sponsors and donors, would help fund the project. I can say definitively that tuition will not be at all even remotely impacted by this. Um, now, fees are set at the campus level, some of them at least, and we did go through a fee adjustment process that was about investing in a whole host of things on campus that the students specifically asked for. When I asked Luke Wood if they had secured all the funding, they said that they were confident that they had what they needed. Now, in the coming weeks, we're expected to see those renderings, and hopefully we can get a better idea of what this looks like dollars and cents wise. Reporting from Sacramento State covering local news that matters. Claudette Stefani and Fox 40 News. Staying with that project that Claudette was just telling us about, there's been a lot of chatter about how it could potentially impact Sac State's future, uh, especially given recent realignments with college football. And Fox 40 Sports Director Andrew Martin joins us now live in studio to explain how things could or could not change, Andrew. Well, Riley, Eric, it would be inaccurate to say this all started recently with the Sac 12 committee the committee that was formed to try and get Sac State into the Pac-12 or the Mountain West. We know there's been a lot of movement with both of those conferences in the last couple of weeks. This announcement today, all about Sac State, and it goes back to last summer. There was a feasibility study that was conducted, the results of which were made public a couple of days ago. Sac State had plans to upgrade its facilities no matter what. Now, if it turns out that these upgrades lead to Sac State joining an FBS conference, university leadership would be fine with that. Well, now that you guys are in a position where the Mountain West has openings and the Pac-12 has openings as athletic director, have you had conversations with higher ups in those conferences about the next step for Sac State? No, I, I think we've been focused on, on our, our student athletes here. And um, at this point, um, we have not um, engaged in, in discussions or anything like that. We are, are focused on our student athletes, on our, our programs. So what is the relationship between Sac State and the Sac 12? Is there an official position? No, I, I, I think a, a, they're a community group that is very supportive and, and, and very supportive of Sacramento State and the Sacramento uh, community, but they're not, uh, not affiliated with Sac State. It is a, an outside entity. Again, the SAC 12 trying to get SAC State into the Pac-12 or the Mountain West. A new stadium would help with that pitch.